Hi, Dr. David W. Kim. This is part three of the video rhinoplasty blog about structural rhinoplasty. So far we've talked about the various reasons why rhinoplasty is difficult and why structural rhinoplasty can prevent some of the complications seen in non-structural rhinoplasty. In the next few sections we're going to talk about the specific anatomy of the nose. What are the components that contribute to the structural integrity of the nose and why these things must be preserved? This dovetails into a deeper discussion about the philosophy of structural rhinoplasty. And then we'll conclude discussing the various principles illustrated by specific regions within the nose. The structural elements of the nose include the nasal septum, which is the partition or wall between the two sides of the nasal cavities, the nasal bones, the upper lateral cartilages, and the lower lateral cartilages. You can see in this uh, skeleton, the nasal bones form the upper 30 to 40 percent of the nose. They reside above the piriform aperture, which is the opening of the nasal passages into the facial skeleton. But you can see that the nose is formed by this structural uh, circumference of the nasal bones, which support the entirety of the nose. The nasal bones themselves occupy the upper portion of the nose, and you can see with uh, the background light that the bones are thinner on the lower portion and thicker on the upper portion. So the bones form this rigid foundation, but seated within the bones is this very strong cartilaginous wall, which is the nasal septum. Uh, the septum you can see extends all the way up to the bridge of the nose and down between the nostrils. Now connected to the nasal septum are the upper lateral cartilages. This forms the shape of the bridge in the middle one-third of the nose. And then below that are the lower lateral cartilages. This contributes to the shape and position of the tip of the nose. In general, the nose is strongest at the top and more flexible and weaker at the bottom. And that's because it goes from rigid up here to more flexible down here. The nasal bones and the nasal septum form the most important elements of the structural uh, strength of the nose. However, these upper and lower cartilages also contribute uh, to the structural integrity of the lower half. Everything here shown is held together by these ligamentous attachments. And these attachments are important to maintain a connection between these more flexible cartilaginous structures to the stronger structures of the nasal bones and the nasal septum. Structural rhinoplasty aims to maintain the integrity of all of these structures and maintain the connections between these structures so the, loose, the nose does not lose support. You can see that the nasal anatomy is fairly intricate. Um, and this picture again shows that they're held together by all of these fibrous ligamentous attachments. If you take a cross section of the nose at any point, you can see the importance of the nasal septum here. This serves as sort of a wall holding up a roof. Uh, you can see in the bony roof. Uh, the mid portion of the bridge, you can see the cartilage holds up these upper lateral cartilages, uh, sort of a roof hanging down on this inner wall. And down at the lower portion, you can see these lower lateral cartilages or tip cartilages also being supported by the bottom of the septum. The next anatomy component is the tripod. The tripod forms a three-pronged structure at the base of the nose which contributes to the position and shape of the nasal tip. If you look at the tip cartilages, there are two mirror image cartilages. Now this is just the near side and there's a mirror image on the opposite side. The two inner limbs, or medial cura, form the inner limb of this tripod. And then each of the outer limbs, or lateral cura, form each of the outer limbs of the tripod. So the tripod structure contributes to some of the support of the tip. If any of these limbs are altered or weakened, the tripod may either be intentionally or inadvertently changed in terms of its uh, position or shape. So the tripod and there uh, by the tip may be reduced in projection or rotation. Uh, structural rhinoplasty tries to uh, exploit that concept to create intentional changes, whereas non-structural rhinoplasty uh, may sometimes violate uh, the, the integrity of the tripod and undesired changes may ensue. We're going to explore a little bit more about the tip mechanics uh, in the next section.